Have you heard of Peter Stump? A German farmer, alleged serial killer, cannibal, and werewolf. He is the most famous case of werewolfism in history, and his execution and trial have been debated over the years. Was it an actual case of the devil granting him the abilities to transform into a werewolf? Or was it simply a political ploy to gain re-establishment of Catholicism in Germany? Let's dive in to the history of Peter Stump. Before we get into it, I must warn you, some of this is extremely graphic. In 1589, Stump had one of the most famous werewolf trials in history. After being stretched on a rack, he confessed to having practiced black magic since he was 12 years old. He claimed that the devil gave him a magical belt which enabled him to transform into the likeness of a greedy, devouring wolf, strong and mighty, with eyes great and large, which in the night sparkled like fire, a mouth great and wide, with most sharp and cruel teeth, a huge body and mighty paws. Removing his belt, he said, made him transform back to his human form. For 25 years, Stump had allegedly been an insatiable bloodsucker who gorged on the flesh of groats, lambs, and sheep, as well as men, women, and children. Being threatened with torture, he confessed to killing and eating 14 children two pregnant women, and their fetuses. One of the 14 children was his own son, whose brains he was reported to have devoured. Not only was Stump accused of being a serial murderer and cannibal, but also of having incest relationships with his daughter, who was sentenced to die with him, as well as coupled with a distant relative, which was also considered to be incest according to law. He also confessed to having had intercourse with the succubus sent to him by the devil. His execution is one of the most brutal on record. He was put to the wheel where flesh was torn from his body in ten places with red-hot pincers, followed by his arms and legs. Then his limbs were broken with a blunt side of an axe head to prevent him from returning from the grave before he was beheaded and burned at the stake. His daughter and mistress had already been strangled and were burned along with Stump's body. As a warning against similar behavior, local authorities erected a pole with the torture wheel and the figure of a wolf on it. At the top, they placed Peter Stump's severed head. It is impossible to determine whether Stump really committed the crimes of which he was accused. He may have been a serial murderer, though there are a number of details in the London pamphlet that are inconsistent with the historical facts. The years in which Stump was supposed to have committed these crimes, 1582 to 1589, were marked by eternal war and the electorate of the Kali. After the abortive introduction of Protestants by the former Archbishop Jard Tisha von Wahlberg, he had been supported by Adolf, Count of Naur, who was also the Lord of Bedburg. Stump was most certainly a converted Protestant. The war brought the invasion of armies of either side, the assaults by Martin soldiers, and eventually an outbreak of the plague. Murder and violence were the rule. When the Protestants were defeated in 1587, Bedburg's castle became the headquarters of the Catholic mercenaries under the command of the new Lord of Bedburg. Salm Dyke, who was a staunch Catholic determined to re-establish the Roman faith. So it was not inconceivable that the werewolf trials were a concealed political trial with the help of the new Lord of Bedburg, planned to bully the Protestants of the territory back into Catholicism. If it had only been just another execution of a werewolf or a couple of witches, which was common around this time in various parts of Germany, the attendance of members of the higher aristocrats, including the new archbishop and elector of the Kali, would be surprising. Furthermore, the trial remained a singular event, nor did the judge refer to the new werewolfism and explain the animal transformation as an infernal delusion. Like all videos I do like this, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Was Peter Stump a werewolf? Or simply a delusion psycho that believed he had mystical powers? 
Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and my Facebook group, Fate Decided, for more content. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And lastly, if you're not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button followed by the bell notifications.